Hi guys, it's Jamie with Jamie's Realistic Life. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Jamie. I'm 51 years old and I'm on a journey to be debt free. But as right now everything is on hold, um, if you're new here, I've just recently signed up on my disability. I've been having some uh, back issues, shoulder issues now. <laughs> I'll explain that here in a little bit, but I want to uh, get started with the challenge that my husband has gave me for August. So he said for to reach out to the YouTube community that I have such wonderful people and tell them that if I could get 52 birthday cards or notes that says happy birthday in the mail that he would take me to my favorite restaurant so guys I love Red Lobster so if you wouldn't mind just send a little note uh, send a birthday card or whatever and I will get to go to my favorite restaurant and he said if I didn't I'll probably just get a Big Mac from McDonald's so <laughs> the address my address will be in the description box below and I really appreciate everybody who has commented on the uh, Ko-Fi page and uh, the com uh, community post page so we're going to get started with this this is the change that I have accumulated over two months in the car. I've already dumped it out and counted it. So I had $21.50 in quarters, $5.50 in dimes, $1.05 in nickels, and $1.30 in pennies. So I have a total of $29.35 in change that I have accumulated over two months and of course you can hear Mr. Simon in the background he has to uh, let his presence be known so what we are going to do is we are going to finish August and probably work a little bit on September so I'm going to get my calculator on my phone out because my other one is unplugged um, we have had some home projects going on that my kid has done. If y'all hadn't seen the shorts or the last video, he done a wonderful job. I mean, he's, he's trying to help Mama get out of this very bad depression uh, state she's been in. So we're going to start with 19. So what I'm going to do is move that over there. Yes, my desk is a little cluttered because I have been um, decluttering a lot in the house. Um, I've held on to things that were given to me that, you know, my, my therapist told me that holding on to the past will not allow you to move forward. And I thought, you know, she's right. I've got to, I've got to start letting go of things that has bothered me over the years and try to move on. So it's not a bad thing if you have to go to therapy, guys. It, it's really not. So minus 19. So this one is done. And what I am going to do is sew this and turn it this way because I really can't color that way. I'm right handed. So getting on to my shoulders now. Uh, back, not this past February, but February before last, I had fallen and dislocated my shoulder, torn my rotator cuff. So, I thought it was kind of healed, you know, and stuff. Well, I have lately had a lot of spells of my left leg going out again, which we all know it's due to the back problems. 
and I fell the other day and came down on both arms. Well, now I got both shoulders hurting. So the good thing is, is I had already had an appointment with the orthopedic on the 5th of this month. And now I'm going to go and tell him that I messed up both shoulders. So um, it's, it's just been a journey with me the past year and a half of everything that's been going on. Uh, of course, you know, if you all followed me, I went through a bad, a bad work relationship where we wasn't getting paid. And it was just a horrible, it took me forever to get my last check and that got me behind on my bills. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my husband takes care of, on his disability check, he takes care of the main bills, the car payment, the house payment, electric, you know, and stuff like that. I take care of the water, the cell phones, and, uh, you know, just the little bills, credit card bills, and stuff like that. Well, since I had to sign up on disability, his check usually takes up all of it, so we have very, very little now for groceries and stuff like that. But we're okay. We're we're doing fine. We're trying. I mean, sometimes we we do have to go without certain foods that we like, and we have to eat a lot of beans and rice. But that's fine. Uh, we're from the south, so we like soup, beans, and cornbread. So. It's all good. Um, Lindsay, thank you so much for the, the Amazon package. Uh, my husband says, those are care packages. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, baby, people do still care out there in the world. And they want to make sure everybody is okay. So, Lindsay, thank you so much. Lindsay is um, the bookish mama budgets. If you don't know her, go check her out. I will try to remember to put her uh, link in the description below. And uh, yeah, so it's just been a journey, guys. And I'm not dealing well with change. I have never dealt with change very well. And with everything that has went on, it threw my depression into a whirlwind. And I'm just, uh, I'm just now starting to feel a little bit better. They changed my medications and um, I'm trying to get onto a routine. So if you see in my next video, which I will be trying to upload videos more often, uh, I'm just, you know, sometimes it's just, it's hard for me to, to get in the mood to do them. Uh, Lately, I've been keeping my grandson while his mama works during the summer break, and he is such a joy, but I don't like, you know, trying to do a video with him here because you never know when he's going to come bouncing in, <laughs> which, I mean, it's fine. My videos are true to word. What you see is what you get. I don't edit. This is the real me. Sometimes I just, you know, you can, I, I've been watching some of them going back and rewatching it and I thought, yeah, you tell you to press this day, listen to your, listen to the tone you have or, you know, you're not very chipper today. And I try to be um, positive and I try to, you know, just get away this is my escape from reality for a little bit because i got friends out there in the youtube world we have finished august so we are going to start over on to september so i'm going to try to find the highest one in here is 353 53. So I'm going to do 353. We're going to minus 3.53. We're going to try to do the high ones first. And uh, you, 
you know, this is up. I do believe it's on my Ko-Fi page. If you all would like to have this challenge, it's on my Ko-Fi. It's a free download or, you know, you can pay what you want for it if you want to pay for it. But it is on there for free. It's a, it's a cute little challenge. It's different. You don't have to do change. You can actually do dollar bills with it. You can do change. You know, mix both. It don't matter. So the next highest one here is 340. So we'll just go with this one also. It's just a really fun way to, to do a challenge. And right now I'm only doing one savings challenge. Um, all of my binders are going into a container and they will be put up. I'm trying to focus on one thing at a time and I've got to close out July's um, my July planner and my beautiful planner that I love. I've been keeping up with it. And uh, that will be in the next video also. And I have to set up for... Uh-oh. I just seen the highest one was 363. That's okay. Um, I have been keeping up with it. So that's good. So we're going to go up here. And get this one done. So... I really appreciate everybody that has stuck with me through this. I know a lot of people don't like coin challenges, but you know what? This is a fun way to just save a little bit of money. And sometimes you may have to pull from it, and it's okay. <laughs> you can always start over. You can always reset. You know, I used to think that I had to keep up with everybody, but you know what? I don't have to. I'm going to do me. 333 minus 3.33. We've almost got this one. This amount of money changed out. If you didn't see my last video, my husband absolutely just hoards change in his vehicle. And then he'll bring it in and say, here you go. And then when I put it into the challenge, he said, well, I thought you was going to take it to the bank and give me the cash. And I'm like, no. No, it's going into our challenge. We are going to see how much we can save and use it for something important if we need to, you know. So what is the next one? Uh, 323. I think it's, yep, 323. 3.23 minus. So I may just seem like I'm rambling a little bit. <laughs> this medicine that they had put me on makes me want to talk. So I jabber a lot. And I know my, my son probably is like, Mom, just shut up for a little bit. You know, you're killing me. You're killing me, Mom. <laughs> no. So, the next one is 313. What's the matter, Miss Luna? Oh, wait, 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 wait. 313. So, this one's going. Okay, let's see. Everybody has just got so quiet. Mavi's probably going to sneak through here and say, What are you doing, Nanny? Who are you talking to, Nanny? It's lunchtime. i got to get him something to eat. Well, it's almost lunchtime. It's lunchtime for me. And it makes me eat. Oh, my gosh. It just makes me eat. Any more high threes? Oh, 301.
So we are going to, boy, it got quiet in here all of a sudden. Okay, so I have 334 left. I'm looking to see if 334 is not already colored. If it's not, then I will color it in the back page. It's 332. 334. I might be overlooking it. 334. Or I may have already colored it in somewhere. 334. Guys. Did I overlook? Let's see if we've already colored it. 334. Not there. Yep, we've already colored it. Let's see. So we could go with. Let's just do this. Let's go with the highest two which I do believe will be 283. And if it's not, then we'll figure it out later. Minus 2.83, that'd be 51 cents left. So if I've not colored in the 51, I may just have to pull 51 cents out and put it into the other jar for next time. So, simple, 51. So, is everybody ready for school to go back? Is everybody ready? I mean, you know, really ready for your kids to go back to school. I'm going to call him Miss Mavi. But I know they need to go to school and they need to learn. I just hope and pray that nobody is mean to that child. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. I'll just pull 51 cents out, put it into the next go around. <laughs> I'm not looking for it. So, 51 is going, nope, got it yet. 51 is going to go back in here. And this will go back into my car. There we go. So, here's the next thing. I'm pouring it into the jug. And this is probably... I got a pickle jar on standby in case this one gets full. <laughs> I'll just dump it into a big old pickle jar. guys that's it for this video thank you all so much for hanging out with me and 
in supporting my channel. It really means a lot to me, guys. It really does. Um, you know, every little bit helps. Um, all the precious Amazon boxes you all have been sending me is precious and very, very thoughtful. And I'm so very grateful for everybody that's helped us out. And uh, with that said, remember to always wear a smile because your smile can make somebody's day. Bye, guys.